the sooner I find some uh, parts, a replacement parts for this, the sooner I can rebuild this thing. Actually, I was two days too late. Yeah, I saw it on the internet that they have a uh, Integra. It has a manual transmission on it and I needed a... Uh... I just got back from the raking yard earlier. Um, I went there hoping that I would uh, get me more parts for the G2B project. I needed some uh, parts from the transmission and also the shifter linkage. What I have here is for Civic and when I tried it, I found it to be too short so I need to have a B-series uh, shifter linkage. Anyway, uh, last week there was a series of events that transpired and as you have seen it, it was uh, cleaning the motor and also uh, trying to figure out what's wrong with the cylinder head. There was a little bit of a hiccups, but I managed to, uh, to go through it, and except for this one right here. <laughs> well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I didn't uh, document on how to open this up because uh, there's plenty of tutorial on YouTube. I have a pleasure of opening a D16 transmission once, and I have found that B-Series is not really that... Uh, foreign to uh, D-series so it's a lot uh, easier for me and uh, this is more like an update also uh, ever since I pulled that motor out uh, you have seen it that uh, I finally got the uh, major hurdles all figured out the brackets and all that the mounts and this is the rear T bracket it's all painted and everything and not bad there this is the transmission and then this is the uh, driver's side you know this one right this is for my uh, transmission and mostly it's about let me show you this one right here this is the uh, fork I have mentioned that I'm going to uh, installed like an anti-rotational device and I welded a piece right there and I should not be worried about that rod turning on me yeah turned out to be uh, all right so right on and this is the post mount I changed the stud it broke on me I don't know why <laughs> this is just a bolt I ground off because uh, I couldn't get the socket to fit on there with a uh, without modifying the bolt so hopefully this one won't uh, break on me and this is the H22 uh, pillow mount finally got it all welded I just need to paint this and this is the earpiece that I was telling you guys about. And it's going to go here. This is the permanent uh, bracket right there. Let me see if I can remove the bolt so you guys could see it. So it's going to bolt on like so. Another bolt will go through here and that will secure it in place. I know I have mentioned it that uh, I thought about extending it through here but it's just too long that there's a lot of room for this thing to move. This way it'll be all secured. I got the bearings on order and also the seal the garlock seal so once that thing uh, showed up yeah there's no stopping I've inspected the gears and the synchro and I found that uh, everything is okay except for two items which is right here before I get into this two uh, the synchro uh, remember I have said that this thing is notorious for third grind this is the uh, 
third gear right here inspected this and everything and uh, the cone are still good yeah it still had that pointy areas and the clearance is still good except for some uh, race material that you see right in this area right there if you happen to be inspecting one of these and if you uh, rub your fingers and if you feel it you will feel some race material on there and this is what I do on whenever the uh, synchro are still good it's still serviceable maybe it's just needed a, a minor repair or something I just get a sandpaper this is 320 the finest sandpaper you could use put it on a flat surface like this and just rub it you can hear the difference when it gets better and that's it now it's all flat again and you don't feel anything anymore and that's it that's just that and this is the hub and the slider same thing you just check for that pointy uh, arrow thing and if you see any damages on there sometimes I'll just run my finger across this thing and if I feel any uh, rough surface or like uh, race material I just use a sandpaper and a file yeah so this one is good the third gear is good now back to this one this is what I'm after when I went to the junkyard earlier I was hoping that the transmission will be there and <laughs> yeah too late <laughs> but let's go outside so you guys could see it see the gears right on top of this it's all flat yeah. what caused this is more like a frequent hammering when the previous owner is going on reverse yeah it's so bad this thing must have been clunking whenever he select a reverse yeah it's all flattened out See right there the inside is okay now for this one here idler this blue mark right there this one right there these two are flat 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 Yeah, I think this is not bad and I can repair this one it probably just needed a little bit of a shaving or a little bit of file till it goes back to uh, normal appearance and since this one is all hammered up and everything all flat and let me show you this is the reverse and fifth gear hub assembly when you select fifth gear the sleeve will come down or will slide forward and that will give you the fifth gear this is the synchro for reverse all the teeth are still good still have that pointy appearance nothing abnormal and this is the sleeve all the gears or the teeth still have the pointy appearance no problem there and the hub same thing so what's happening is let me see if I could uh, give you a scenario so what's happening is these gears are pointy right it's supposed to line up like so when they meet it's supposed to slide because you have pointy nose but now one is flat so whenever it the idler goes in 
that's a hammering right there that's when you hear that clunk yep so you uh put it back to neutral reset your clutch and then step on it again hopefully the gear is spinning right so yeah same thing clunk and then finally it goes in yeah that's what's happening on this but i think this one it will be okay i thought i could use the uh, let me see if i can get the I thought about modifying this thing. <laughs> this is for a Hono Accord and Prelude. It's almost the same. It fits on the hub and everything, but on the outside, yeah, it's just perfectly matched except for the fork right here. Hono Accord is much uh, thinner or smaller. See the difference? Yeah. As soon as uh, the availability of the parts, um, like the uh, bearings for my uh, half shafts shows up, then I'll put that on. And this one here, I have to weigh my uh, options if whether wait for a tranny shows up in a junkyard and hopefully I'll be fast enough to see it and I'll get there in time that no one has beaten me to it then I'll get these or I'll keep searching on the internet and hopefully I will run into something maybe Facebook market or something I think in the meantime, while I'm waiting for those parts to show up, uh, we'll get the cylinder head prepared. Yeah, clean this up a little bit and slap it on. All right. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys back. Bye, everyone. Take care. Like and subscribe and share, okay? Bye-bye.